Yo, I'm Michael, and I do vocals and issues, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. The number one thing that I love about music and, and, and playing it is that on my worst days, I can just write. I can just let it all out on paper. Whether it ends up being in a song or whether it's for my own personal use, you know, um, I love being able to play music and, and put emotions that I feel into lyrics and just into songs. We're not any better than anybody else because we all go through a lot of the same things, you know, I've always said that, you know, and um, we're just normal human beings. I want to write stuff that people can relate to and say, hey, you know, this song was written about me. The people that come to our shows, you know, and the person next to you could probably be going through the exact same thing you are, and, and little do you know that. And of course I want to change lives and, and I want to impact people's lives, but at the same time I just want, you know, people to, to get something out of what I have to say. I had this thing, uh, it's called Tourette's. You know, I always can make jokes about it and, and have fun and, and, and be funny about it, and, and I never really take anything to heart. Growing up, it wasn't, it wasn't so easy at all. I've had it since I was since I was born. If you don't know what Tourette's is, um, there's two different types. There's a vocal Tourette's, and then there's a uh, like a Tourette's where you twitch. I have the kind where you twitch. I remember going to the doctor, and um, they put me in this big room, and they just like kind of told me to play with some toys, and uh, they just had some doctors watch me through the glass. Ended up saying, "Hey, you know, your son has Tourette's." It's, it's weird being a, you know, having Tourette's and being a front man and, and as soon as I pick up the mic, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm in the zone, you know, I don't, I don't even think about it. I don't twitch really on stage that much. But yeah, it's cool just to be able to, to do that and, and, you know, I hope that somebody can get something out of that and say that, hey, even with a disability, not that mine is, you know, as bad as, as some people have it, but, um, you know, I hope that somebody can say, hey, like, if he can do it, I can do it, you know? Middle school was right around the time that I started really seriously playing drums. It's, it's just so weird that, you know, I can be sitting here twitching constantly, and then as soon as I pick up a pair of drumsticks, I just can go, you know, and it doesn't even phase me. Of course, it was tough at times, you know, you, you go home and you're like, man, I had the worst day at school, you know, so many people picked on me but you know at the end of the day I made it a point to uh, to make something of myself and, and, and go somewhere with music and you know I wasn't gonna take no for an answer you know and I wasn't gonna let some stupid football player you know make fun of me you know and, and, and that be the reason I don't go somewhere in life you know that that'd just be ridiculous it was weird because in, in high school uh, it kind of all changed and suddenly having Tourette's was kind of cool, and they were like, well, I want Tourette's, you know? I'm like, no, you don't. It was cool, you know, I guess as people matured and grow, grew up, um, they kind of, you know, just grew out of that. I never let it bring me down, and I never, you know, I never let it get to me and, and use that as an excuse as to why I would never go somewhere with music. The first night we played in Chicago, and it was like a sold out, 5,000 cap venue, and I walked out on stage and I was completely blown away. And um, I'd never really seen anything like that. And it's moments like those that, that let me know that my dreams are a reality now and that, um, that they're starting to come true. And it, it's, I couldn't ask for anything more. After the, the, the split up with what was me and, and, and the relationship that I was in, I, I kind of just lost myself I guess, in a sense. You know, everything that I had stood for and everything for so long, you know, that, that I believed in and, and I said I would never do and I would never become a part of, you know, I found myself doing those things. I didn't like it, you know, I, um, but I didn't know how to kind of stop it in a sense. You know, just recently, I've, I've started to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Honestly, honestly, fans and friends in my band um, helped me. If, if it wasn't for you guys, then I, I don't know where I would be. Being in this band and it being such a, a fresh start for me and uh, 
not just with music and in, in, in my music career, but for me personally, it's been such an awesome, fresh start. I'm so grateful that I've gotten this opportunity. It truly means a lot. It means a lot that, that I can start over and, and get my life back together. Just recently I've been kind of dealing with like finding myself again and, and who I really am and, and everything that I did stand for, you know, and, and I want to be a better person and I, I strive for that every day. You know, I don't want to be some false idol or, or some, you know, person who who says one thing and then you see me out and I'm, you know, the biggest scumbag on the face of the earth, you know. I want to be, you know, a good guy and I want to go back to my roots and, and, and everything that I've always stood for, you know. I want to be somebody that kids can look up to and say, hey, you know, that guy's not doing what everybody else is doing because it's cool. That guy's standing up for something and, and he's honestly practicing what he preaches. Oh, no.